Well, I'm Toby. And I'm Savannah. And this is Extraction from a Certain Point of View, which is kind of funny, just to put that in a sentence with that. Oh, anyway, uh, so the Netflix original Extraction starring Chris Hemsworth and... Um, Came out recently? We, I don't know exactly Yeah, when, it was but... 2020, I know that. It's um, been at least in the last couple months. Um, been seeing it on Netflix. We kind of kept scrolling past it a couple times. Like, ah, Chris Hemsworth, I do want to watch it, so... We no finally, more theaters, so might as well. Yeah, I got nothing else to do in the theater, so we decided we'll just watch that one and put it out. Um, so, I mean, right away, uh, um, one thing that has been overdone recently, um, but I still enjoy it, is showing, like, a scene and then, yeah, you know, kind of, not even the ending, but showing, like, halfway through the end or something, then rewinding all the way back to the beginning to see how we get back to that point. Because the movie opens up and it's in the shit. Yeah. Like, we're already bloodied and watching people die like it's already to that point um and it's not like a like you know a first james bond mission of a movie where you come in you see him skulking on and then he does some big shit this was just straight into the action yeah um, right away it was exciting right off the bat um overall i think it was fairly well acted um i mean i would say so yeah. i would i think it was more better acted than some of the more of the Actual like blockbusters we've seen earlier this year and late of it last year. It was definitely year. better actually than Bloodshot. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was gonna say. There yeah. you go. Yeah, it was definitely a, a better action film than Bloodshot yeah, was. Yeah, I would agree with that 100%. Um, funny enough, there's a part where he's walking and he looks like Brad Pitt, and then they make that comment later that he can looks yeah. like a Brad. I was like, I was literally thinking that he looked like Brad Pitt here earlier. In it the was movie. funny. He's like, um, the kid's like, oh, no. He tell he asked the kid, what who do you what do you think that my name looks like? And the second he asked that, I was like, he looks like a Brad here. He looks a Brad. And the yeah. kid goes, oh, a Brad. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yep, that's exactly mm -hmm. what a I was Brad. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was an, a very nice dynamic. Um, interesting to watch, Tyler, and learning more about him and the kid, Avi. Avi. His name was Avi. So it was cool to see. Um, you know, we see a lot of movies where adults and kids, you know, are in these kinds of situations, they have to come together. Um, but normally they always kind of ha have like a familiar backstory together already most of the time. Uh, or, most of the time. Sometimes. Or like the guy knows a lot about the kid already. Yeah. That's true. Um, somebody always knows a lot about, these two like knew nothing about each other. That's true. And it was, you know, he was a merc, he's just there for the money. Yeah. Um, obviously you already know that it's going to be a... Uh, turn the Merc to a softy Merc, you know, right. make him, you know, care a little bit. Um, but I think they did a good job. I liked the development of the characters as they went on and progressed. They learned more information about each other. You know, for a long time, it was just kept calling him, hey, kid, 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 you know? Yeah. And like, I think he'll answer a lot better if you figure out what his name is. Right. <laughs> and then he'll respond to you better. And then the next scene is the whole name introduction thing. I was like, well, freaking right on. There you go. Um, the direction was fantastic there is yeah. literally and, and that's another popular trend that's going around and i hope they keep doing it because i actually really like this trend is this trend of trying to do one shots mm -hmm. or oh, at least or at least one. use trickery to make it look like a one shot i don't know um exactly how they do it but i know 1917 technically was not fully a one shot they used trickery to make it look like a full one shot at, at certain points um but uh, this and this one, they could have done the same thing, but there was a good, I would say, what, 20, 30 minute chunk in the middle of the movie that looks like it's all one oh, shot. Yeah, it, it's, um, it, yeah, I mean, it goes from ground up the floor, down, and what back I liked out the was window. The, the camera actually would like go in a room and show them on the outside of the window. So it was like the camera was running through rooms trying to catch up with them. And that was a really cool. Mm -hmm. And they would pause at doorways to kind of like stop to give that camera making it look like they're looking, waiting to see if there's a bad guy coming, but it's really, they need to give the camera time to get in front of them. Yeah, it was actually, it was you really know? interesting. I liked that a lot. And they fly out the window, so the camera flies out the window too. It was yeah. very nice. It was... <laughs> Imagine having to do that stunt in one take because the camera's got to go with you. I exactly. mean, <laughs> I mean, it was just um, a little sp suspension of disbelief, you know, um, getting hit by a car. I don't think that you get up that easily and keep walking. Although but... I will give the film this credit. That guy looked messed up. Oh, yeah. Most of the time you see these action movies and the guy like, kind of walks away like, I'm Got a fine. couple scratches, maybe pops his shoulder back in real quick. Right, though this guy was messed up. Dude, yeah. The, after uh... he got like beaten up, bloodied, hit by a car. So that yeah, was nice. And it just, and then you, you know that these two are going to have to work together. They're doing the same goal, but Tyler wants his money. This guy just doesn't want his family to die. And yeah. I mean, they really made you feel for the henchmen. I'm like, God, I just want them to team up and work together at this point already. Right. And then he goes and gets himself sniped in the fucking head. Yeah. That yeah. Was a shame. After that big, like his big last push was awesome. I was like, Oh, he's like in a survivor. They're gonna kill him right now. And then they didn't. And then I was like, Oh, okay. And then Austin. Yeah. It's like, Oh, well, then there it is. 
And I was like, oh man, I felt kind of bad. So David Harbour role was interesting. Usually he's kind of, you know, he was in Hellboy, which I mean, wasn't very good at all. Right, but he's uh, in Stranger Things. But he's in we Stranger love, Things. We love him as well, that. Well, he's just, he's know? more of the good guy with, a, com with a complex. You know, yeah. he's a good guy. Com he's got the hero complex. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Um, he's definitely always a character with a hero complex. I mean, we haven't seen him in Black Widow yet, unfortunately. Even though we should have seen that already at this point. Yeah. Um, but so, like, n seeing him in this role where he was, like, a friend and, you know, was... In the end, I, he was right. He was just thinking about his wife and his family and him and, like, and everything. But, you know, at the same time. So, like, and he turns and goes bad. So that was an interesting role for him to take on. And I would agree. To, to, and they did a great job. I mean, all the choreographing fight scenes were well done. I mean, there was some shaky cam, but... It didn't rely on shaky cam, which was the best, which definitely separates it from Bloodshot. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I couldn't. I, that, that movie was that all movie shaky was, cam. It, it was dizzying, honestly. Yeah, anytime <laughs> there was a fight scene, it was just. And I don't know. I do the work, do the fight, like exactly. do it. Don't just have to shaky cam because your actors can't do it. Learn it. Yeah, actors. Chris Hemsworth definitely had to do a lot of his own fighting in this, especially with that one shot, because that one shot couldn't can't really. You double. can't really trade out a stunt double as easily. Yeah. Um. You know, it, it's doable, but it's not as easy. And he just had, you definitely, he definitely had to do a lot of that himself. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 they did a good job with it. Like, yeah. it was just a, you know, all around it was a, a good action film. Um, the ending. In a time where action um, films aren't really being that great right now. Yeah. The ending actually reminded me a lot of Inception. Oh, yeah. Because Inception, you know, it cuts to black before the top falls down or not. You're like, oh, God, did the top fall down? Who knows? Yeah, and he's a, blurry, really a, there's a blurry figure in the background. and he, The kid pops up out of the pool, and you just see a blurry figure in the background. And, you, you know, you assume Chris Hemsworth doesn't survive because, I mean, good he lord. He got shot through the neck and yeah. fell into that river. That river ain't that clean. Yeah, it's so it's not likely that he survived. But when you see that blurry figure in the background, it, background right before it cuts to black, it gives you that same feeling as Inception. Like, wait a second. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it very much reminded me of that. The tone of the music, the way they showed him, and like kind of just disproportionate in the background and everything. I, it very mm. much reminded me of Inception at the right. end there, and I liked that because that was a really good part of Inception that it did that. You know, right? Leaves so. the audience just thinking and exactly. wanting more. Um, and I mean, it, the screenplay was by Joe Russo, so there's no surprise that it was as good as it was. Yeah, exactly. Guy, he did a good job. You know, he knows. He knows they what he's know, doing. They he, know action movies. Him and his brother, they know action movies exactly. pretty well. They, they do a really good job at it. And um, the music, um, I mean, it wasn't a substantial great score, but it did a good job. It yeah. kept us feeling in the moment exactly. when things were going on. Again, especially at the end. Yep, yep, exactly. Um, I mean, the bridge scene, I mean, goes on the top, my top ten bridge scenes. Yeah. Uh, bridge fight scenes. Uh, it didn't have me sit on the edge of my seat like Sicario did, but it also wasn't so lame and boring where I was just kind of sitting on, oh, yeah. like, oh, like the tunnel like... scene in Bloodshot. <laughs> so, overall good movie. Um, if you have Netflix, I'd go ahead and give it a check out. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, I think that we would go ahead and give this uh, the rank of the high ground. Um, definitely don't need any uh, alcohol to enjoy it or any death sticks as you were. Until next time, may the films be with you.